It's good to see all your faces. Welcome to Northwest. We'll be your guys' link crew leaders for the year. My name is Sam Converse. And my name is Sam Springer. And uh, we're just going to jump right into it. We're going to get to know you guys a little bit better. Um, what are some fun things you did this summer? Any uh, vacations? Anything like that? Did we do wrong? I don't know if there's something wrong with that. Yeah. Uh, what are you guys excited for about Northwest? Like, sports? Do you guys want to do any sports? Clubs? Uh, after school activities? Assemblies? Um, are you guys excited for the freshman show? Yeah! place where all creatures come to learn together. Today we are focusing on the very bottom of the food chain, the freshmen. Here is one of the freshmen that is working out to impress the females of his class in the back. He caught the looks of a fair lady. This one of the same pack is working on trying to be the strongest Watch as he scares off one of the other pack members with his strength. Here is a large wild pack of freshmen. Whoa, what is this? It appears the leader is stating his dominance. One of them is going to stand against the leader. And it appears the leader is submitting. The challenger is now the new alpha male. Wait, there is another challenger. Wait, the group accepts the new alpha male and is now defending him. This is crazy. I've never seen anything quite like this before. Here are three pups playing with the ball. Fun fact, the pups play all day until they are sophomores. Then they have to go get a job because they realize their parents aren't going to give them the money. Some freshmen show their packs by flaunting their matching shirts. Adorable, you might say. Ah, he's the newest member of the pack. Watch as he asks if the food is safe to eat. Then... He goes to demolish the food that has been given to him. These freshmen will have to wait three years till they can go out and get food for themselves. Yes, it's a large pack meeting. A few roughhouse, but do not overstep each other as you can see. They do not test each other's dominance yet. Wait. It is there appear to be a bit of a scurry. They all have since the coming of the seniors. They are fleeing. This is one of the largest migrations I've ever seen. Uh, a freshman appears to be in hot water with, I think is his mate. You can see the frustration on her face, the nervousness in his hands. Ah, uh, the freshman. Such majestic creatures. Till next time in Northwest National Park. This one time I had this really weird freshman and he did this really weird thing in class, and it kind of went like this. <laughs> I asked the kids on the first day of school, uh, what your name is and one thing you did this summer? Well, he proceeded to tell his male teacher. Uh, my name is Daddy, D-A-D-D-Y. So I naturally played up on that 
and said, Oh, uh, wait a minute, let me get this straight. You want your male teacher, male teacher, to call you daddy? Yeah. Uh, what's up, daddy? How's it going? You're doing great. You doing all right? You want me to call you daddy all the time? Yeah. All right, what's up, daddy? <laughs> and that's how it went. He didn't know what he was getting into. Freshmen are, by nature, really weird. There's a lot of weird stories from freshmen. But there's this one in particular. This student of mine kept on playing Mariah Carey singing All I Want for Christmas is You. She would not stop playing it on her computer every day of class. Martha, if I've told you once, I've told you a thousand times, enough with the Mariah Carey. Suddenly, I found myself loving Mariah Carey, and now I'm addicted to that song. I have taught freshmen for 12 years, and this is how it went. While watching a video that he disagreed with when it was dead silent when everybody's watching this video. Just kind of stood up. Oh, I hate drinking rollies! And that's really weird. You're off, right? For the freshman. Yeah, bro. Like, we should make a rap or something, bro. Yeah. Nah, dude. We should make a video. We should make a rap, rap video! video. That was the day you showed up. Forget cartons, we said milk in our cup. Dr. Grooming, that's my ride or die boo. Mess with her, we pull up on a foo. Northwest football, you know we took that dub. Disregard West, back to the lobby, scrub. Yeah, fresh me, you know we spit hot fire. We don't quit, but we never retire. We aspire to reach higher and inspire. Getting good grades so that we can get hired. Oh, freshmen at Northwest. There's so much stuff to do here. You know we are the best. There's sports, there's activities, there's anything you want. At Northwest, we are better than the rest. 
there are some things you need to know. Like, don't stop in the hall. This is school, bro. Why'd you bring a ball? Don't spread poop on the walls. Please keep that stuff in the stalls. Open lunch. No fake IDs or counterfeit. If you get caught, don't throw a fit. Require a room. That's lit. Cougar core. You know we do more. Get good grades, but raise some scores. Don't be absent. Don't be tardy. So you can come to our Cougar core parties. See us in the weight room, meet us on the court. No, we will beat you in every single sport. Student athletes, that's what we are. Getting good grades before I spit this bar. Lights, camera, action, you know we about the action. Meet Yabara to learn about subtraction. Understand fractions, chemical reactions, maybe even some group interactions. Hey, that one was you, freshman. Hope you liked it. Hope you learned more about the school, freshman. Peace, love, and positivity, freshman. He did that, starting varsity as a freshman, Kel Farkas. Uh, as a freshman to be on varsity, it's a challenge, but it's a challenge I accepted. And it's a great opportunity for me to learn as a leader and to hopefully better my career later in the future of high school. <laughs> I hope to play in college, um, but it's never a guarantee. Anything can happen, and right now I'm just taking it one day at a time. As a 14-year-old, it is a little bit strange to be playing with 18-year-olds and kids that are much bigger than me, but it's, like I said, a challenge, and it will help me improve my skills for next year and the years to come. Well, I actually saw Kale play two years ago and thought that he was going to be a really good and impact high school football player, I just said no to be as a freshman. And we'll probably end up playing on both sides of the ball for us in the near future. We're gonna be late! Cameron, wake up! Oh my god, I'm gonna be late, I'm gonna be late, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, what's happening? What? I'm not supposed to be driving! Why do I look like such a dork? Cameron, shut up, shut up! We, we're, supposed, we're already late for school today, and, it's just and now driving. I'm the one driving. Take a deep <laughs> breath. Oh, where's my schedule? Where's my, I don't have it. One, I think this is it. So, you guys know what you're doing, right? I didn't hear that. I'm sorry, man. Oh my gosh. Why did you say it here, right? Dang it. Yes. So, so did you figure it out? Yeah. Apparently it's a legend. I learned it freshman year. I don't think it'll work. It's about a uh, witch doctor in the basement. Witch doctor? Is that gonna work? I guess we could only see for ourselves. Okay. Basement. Oh, I've been expecting. <laughs> well, like honestly, this happens a lot. Like, have you heard of Freaky Friday by Little Dicky and Chris Brown? Like, that's like the same situation you're in. Just don't trip over about it, man. Just like, chill. What? What is that? What is that? It's up for interpretation.
it is complete. Caleb? Cameron? Alright, what the flip is up, tubers? Today we're going to be testing the freshmen on their knowledge of Northwest. 500 BC. 1398. 1896. 1969. Stealing money. His last name being Wolf. Teaching. Teaching. Yelling at kids. Probably where we're standing right now. The bottom. The basement. Of uh, the bathroom. I'm gonna assume the area above the stage because there's a doll hanging there. Mr. Stubenrock? <laughs> I would avoid cheerleading with a 10 foot pole so I wouldn't know. Uh, Miss Morissette. <laughs> a woman. Coach Chambers! Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. It's either it's either we are the Northwest Cougars or we are the Shawnee Mission Cougars, something like that. Shawnee Mission Northwest. Cougars. By the river, under the sea, some, some, some don't know what to say. Um, stand up, we are the Northwest Cougars, I think. Our principal, or just like, <laughs> oh, like Grubin, Lisa Grubin or something? Mr. LeBig. I'm not good at names. No, no, no. Yes. Oh. <laughs> I forget. I don't know how to say her name. Dr. Grumman. Cougar. 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 Yeah, Cougar. K-U-G-R. K-U-G-R. I'm gonna go with baseball? Football. No? Track? Um, I think baseball? Football. Uh, baseball. Cross country. And that was freshman trivia about Northwest. We brought this group of freshmen in to help teach future Link crew members how to perform a team building activity. But things got a little weird. Yeah. Pretty quickly. Hey, can you, you need to leave. Um, you need to leave. Hey, can you leave? Oh, God. OK, so um, new plan, new plan, new plan. New plan. Um, we're your Link crew instructors. New plan. I don't like Alil. I don't like Haven. Get him out of here. We're gonna do some questions. You guys like questions? Yes. 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 Woohoo. Yes. Are you hungry? You're laughing back here. What is this? Are you hungry? Are you hungry? <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? Are you hungry? <laughs> hey, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. You're hungry? Yeah. Liar! I don't like your attitudes. You're all you're all here, you think you're having fun. What's your name? Tyler. No! Your name is Michael! Do you like that name, Michael? No. That's too bad. Who's your best friend in this room? Daniel. <laughs> Daniel? Mm-hmm. You're the best friend? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Um, Congratulations. Hey, can you can you um yeah, come with me. Yeah, so thank you, Daniel. Everyone give a round of applause for Daniel. Cool, okay. All right. Dance break. Yeah. You know what they say, natural selection. and then these two people just came in and kicked me out and I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do and you need to help me. Come on, man. 
Okay, yeah. Um get out. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, so uh that went really well. Mm -hmm. You know? I think they really learned a lot. They definitely did. Um definitely just getting accustomed to Northwest. I think we really did a great job. Mm. You know? Yeah. It's just fantastic. Mm. All right. Finding your way around a new building can be tricky, especially when you're on the bottom of the food chain as a freshman. We blindfolded six freshmen and asked them to find their way back to 153 to see how well they know their way around Northwest. Let's meet our teams. First, we have Maya Conway and Sam Beardsley. Next, we have Natalie Peterson and Andrew Braun. And lastly, we have Annie and Ryan Forberg. You guys can put your blindfolds on. The lawyer. No <laughs> That's one more arrest for today. Makes 13 total. These freshmen are getting worse. Let's bring him in for interrogating. Good call. Spill the tea. <clears throat> PDA. Public displays of affection. That's not okay. Not in this school. You can be like 50 feet apart, you can look at each other. Um, you can think about each other, but you can't touch. What goes through your head when you want to enact these public displays of affection? You see a hallway, you see the person next to you, your significant other, and you think, wow, this is just a great place. This is a great spot for some PDA. But you know, you know what my job is here? You know what my job is? I stop PDA. I'm a public That's display right. of affection. That's detective. right! He's a detective! Respect the badge! So just tell us, where's the PDA happening? Give me one hall. North, south, west, mall? This is, is in the mall. mall? It's in the mall. Good boy. PDA in the mall is the worst. It's like nothing I've ever seen. There could be hundreds of people, but two offenders, maybe. And it's our job to catch them. That's... Oh, call from Mr. Wolf. Springer, Converse, serious PDA in the mall. I need you to get down there immediately. Oof. We got some PDA in the mall right now. He says to get on it. Let's go. It's the same guy as last time. You're right. We gotta bag him. That's some serious PDA. I don't wanna mess with I've that. I've been a PDA police officer for three years. I can get him. No, no, you can't handle this. PDA police! A 
possible officer down. Moving to him now. Sam, who did this? The freshman. Are you gonna be okay? I'm not gonna make it. Oh, God. You don't understand. If there's one thing they need to know, yeah. stop the PDA. Well, you heard that right there, freshman. Please, uh, no public displays of affection. You make me sick. Oh, good morning, Dr. Green. How are you doing? Oh, you're not feeling very good? Oh, my goodness. That's terrible. You won't be in today? Oh, that's too bad. Well, okay, I'm sure Mr. Leday and Mr. Johnson will be able to handle it. Thank you so much. Talk to you later. Bye. All right, guys, today's the day. Grumman's gone. Let's go. Hey, do you know who we are? You can't do this to us. Dr. Groom is gonna have all of you guys. Go to the Alright, let's go. You guys can go home. Let's go! You guys can all go home. Yeah, uh, this is Jack Johnson. I need a hundred large pizzas. Yeah, throw every, throw everything on it. Throw some cookies in there too. What are you still doing here? Go home, man. They got your back, Dr. Grillman. Yeah, Listen, no they're kidding. taking over the school. I can't they're giving away free cookies. Oh my gosh, they're giving away candy. What's the crazy. deal? Get us oh, out of here. Man. Wait, did you say there were free cookies? I'll be right back. Wait! <laughs> 